Hello, uh, in today's episode we will try to draw some sprites on our battlefield. So we start with a little bit of preparation. So I was thinking that probably it would be a good idea to have some structures for coordinates, for dimensions. Uh, since we are working with 2D graphics and usually like uh, XY coordinates it, it doesn't make sense to store them as separate attribute. It's single coordinates that has type like two dimensional number, right? So I was thinking the, of something like this uh, def record, uh, for example, pause, which will have X and Y, right? And def record name, which is dimension, which will have width and height. So function is eight, we will end, but I prefer them to be different structures uh, simply because so we can not make a mistake, typing mistake or using coordinates instead of dimension. Okay. Uh, also, uh, since we're going to store some in data script, it's, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, for now it works. Uh, so let's create a function that, oh, actually we can just alias them like that. Right, so by default, if record creates functions that are named like this, but I don't like them with that much, I, I like those names more. Uh, then uh, we, we want to be able to use uh, those uh, records as tags, which is also should be fine. Uh, we'll just ignore them in the schema. And the first uh, where we are going to apply them is going to be this. So basically, the dimension of a sprite is just a single attribute called dimension. Okay. That makes sense, I hope. Uh, there's also this issue. Okay, so and uh, what we are also going to need is actual sprite. Okay, so oops. so for example, sprite is something that has position. Right, so it's, it's going to have position of type pause and it's going to reference a sprite sheet, which is well, basically type ref. Okay. And we don't think we need anything else really. Uh, we also have to update this, uh, this will be 656. Here as well. Oh, I, I could just copy this over and over since they all have the same sprite. And yeah, it should probably be sprite dim. Again, I just just uh, a tiny reminder that this dimension is not a dimension of the whole picture, but rather a dimension of a single uh, animation frame within the picture. So if you're doing sprite, we are not going to use whole to use the whole picture. We're going to just use the one sprite, right? And also let let's add some sprites. So for example, uh, sprite pose is going to be so. Uh, if I choose the top left corner, it will have the coordinates of 59, 18. Okay, so this coordinate is known because the size of the tile is known and the amount of tiles is also fixed by per battlefield. Okay, and uh, we actually want to align the, uh, the sprite over this coordinate, right? Um, hmm. Yeah, okay, whatever. And so this is like top left. Mm, yeah, we, we, we will discuss this a bit later. Okay, let's let's get some graphics uh, on the screen first. Okay? So uh, sprite sheet sheet name Oops. Uh, let's say we want an eight. Okay. So this is it. Uh, let's see if we, that we didn't make any mistake here. We certainly did. Something uh, we messed up our maps somewhere, somewhere in there. Oh, it, it has to be a set, of course. Okay, yeah, it works. Seems to work now. Okay, and now we are going to to actually implement our first system. So uh, first of all, I want to rename this to a screen. It makes more sense for me. 
Okay, so our first system is going to be called sprites. So basically it's the same RAM component uh, which takes DB and it iterates over a database, finds everything that has sprite attached to it, okay, basically finds all sprites and draws them on the record. Okay, so first of all, um, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, yeah, we are going to, yeah, uh, what we're going to need is, uh, well, I can do it like this, so datums db iavt sprite post, for example, okay? So this means that return me all datums that have sprite posts. But we usually we don't need datums, we need entities instead. So what I'm going to do is, is to implement a function that does that plus it converts to an entity so ds entity db and we will we are going to take the entity id from datum and ds datums db index okay so something like this now i'm also Uh, it's actually not a it's it's component one component two and component three so up to three uh, index components because we don't know which index will be listed uh, in here so if it's a evt this will be attribute this will be entity this will be value right is if this is e avt this will be entity this will be attribute and this will be value which is well, a little bit different okay so yeah and um, basically if we do that instead of datums entities yes like this we are going to have like real entities then we are going to extract or oh, we need to let here we are going to extract What we are going to extract, we are going to extract position and sprite sheet. Okay, and from sprite sheet, we are going to extract dimension and URL. And for every every sprite that we find, we just draw a sprite with left coordinate uh, set at x pos top coordinate set at y pos mm, we set at this of dimension of a sprite sheet and height set at height of dimension of a sprite sheet and with background image Ground image URL URL um, like this, and we are going to include sprites as DB inside the screen. So this is like, um, if you talk in terms of entity component system, there's our first system. Basically, in real game, it would be something like render system, right? So it takes everything renderable, no matter where it goes from, where it comes from, and uh, it just put it on screen. So it, uh, somebody else figures out the coordinates, somebody else figures out how to put it in the database. But once it's, once it's, figured, it's figured out, it, it does it. So we, we only need this and so everything should be relative to the screen it's absolute coordinates relative to this uh, screen of ours mm -hmm. so it doesn't work let's okay now, now we are going to debug it and see if we have so we have screen we have one sprite which is not here for some reason so it doesn't have a sprite sheet for some reason, right? Ah, uh, no, sprite sheet. 
Uh, uh, yeah, I, mean, I missed it here. Sometimes I think that maybe uh, a strict schema for everything is a good idea because like type types like this will be caught early on. So still we now have we still don't have the dimension for some oh because it's sprite dim not dim okay yeah. Yeah. that's what you get for working in a, in a dynamic language and still no still no dimensions hmm. Hmm. We get we got a ship because it uh, substituted the, the correct URL, but we didn't go to. That's strange. Oh, now we have dim here, which is God knows what. Yay! We have our sprite. So the only thing is um, how we're going to position it, right? So right now we are using top left corner as a coordinate, which might be useful, might be not. And yeah, we probably like all the coordinates are like that, so probably we should do that as well. Um, but let's say we want to position this guy. So. <laughs> In a game, it's supposed to have variable height and width, okay? So probably the best way to, to is to use left, um, bottom left coordinate. And to do that, the position is of bottom left, left coordinate. Uh, to do that, we will have to add Height. Oh, sorry. If we will have to do this. Right now it's aligned uh, over there. We need to increase that by 28. So it's 18 plus 28, 46. Okay. And on the left it has a fixed uh, padding of 14 pixels. So it's 59 minus 14, which is 45. And now it should be perfectly aligned in sizes, um, the thing. Okay, let's add another one. Let's add another one. It will be in the next picture. So it's basically 73, like this. It's going to be a skeleton. Okay, perfect. And uh, the only thing that troubles me right now is that, uh, okay, so it seems fine. Yeah, it seems that skeleton actually well, feels a little bit not aligned, right? It's, it feels a little bit bigger, but uh, it doesn't really matter right now. So uh, what we have to do, we have to uh, mirror it. So um, I'm going to do this for a yeah, yeah, mirror. And we need sprite transform, maybe transforms even. Yes. Well, uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves, right? So uh, let's let's start with a simple mirror attribute, and if we need the different transforms later, we will just add them. So here it's sprite. Oh, so it's mirror and it's boolean and mirror we have to fix it mirror and here we add transform when mirror so if we need the mirror we add the transform which will be scale minus one so like that yes yes minus one one like this 
Yes, so now uh, it does what I expected to do. So yeah, uh, basically uh, uh, this will be like system, this will be <laughs> entities and components, entities, and this one will be, well, this request is actually, well, this is components, and this one is entities, yes. So the idea is, for example, if you have a multiple sprites, or if you have a knight and you have like a stack, a size, you can add this attribute to the same entity here. The same entity might be a sprite and also a stack and also something else, right? You can attach sprite to anything really. And the trick here is that we, uh, when rendering, we only care about sprites. So we can query the database specifically for uh, this attribute only, only sprite attributes and everything related to it, nothing else, okay? And this is like, we can do that because uh, database has this index, AVT index, right? Which uh, indexes by attributes. So everything related to the same attribute is grouped together. So this query is uh, quite fast. And if you build the anti-component system yourself while using, you know, maps or something like that, uh, you will have to maintain such index yourself. So if when you create you create an entity somewhere, then you create a sprite attached to that entity and you put that sprite into the index yourself uh, and to also maybe attach it to the entity as well. So yeah, and that data script basically has this ability built in. Okay, this is it uh, for now. So we have sprites on the screen and uh, next stop will be, I don't know, maybe animation. I don't know, maybe animation. Oh no, there's well, yeah, maybe animation and also multiple layers. So right now it only shows one layer, but I want it to, to show multiple layers actually. So yeah, one sprite can have uh, the layer of a player. So there's, there's highlight for different players like red player, blue player, green player. They have different highlights. And there's also selection, which is also highlight, uh, uh, basically a layer in the sprite sheet. So. Uh, we'll probably have to do this one next. Okay, until next time, bye-bye.